Oh, good night. Look at this young guy. Disable firewall properly in Windows. <laughs> oh, there's my first debloat script. That's funny. Install Linux for beginners. Dude, that almost has a million views. I need to do a back and go back and actually redo the Linux, uh, Windows to Linux. Nine tips for Ubuntu. Show the debloat. It's only five minutes long. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, that's that's a quick one. Let's do the debloat. It has a half a million views. Oh God. That's going to be cringe. That's my... It's like my 15th video I uploaded. So back in these days, guys, when I started YouTube, you know how everyone's like, do YouTube as a passion project? Yeah, no, I, I was not like that. I started YouTube because I wanted to make money doing YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to just say something that like no other YouTuber has ever said. And that is, no, no. When I started in 2018, I totally dedicated myself to it and said, I'm going to make money doing this. I'm going to figure it out. All these young kids out there killing it on YouTube. If they can do it, I have been doing IT for 20 years. I should be able to do it. Little did I know when I started, there's a thing called video production and audio quality. And there's a lot that goes into actually producing content that I had zero clue. Absolutely no clue. Oh, God bless. If I could go back and talk to me from five years ago, there's so much I'd say. All right. Let's see the old young Chris Titus starting out. This was actually my very first viral video or semi-viral video when I first started. It was Debloating Windows 10 was actually the first video that popped off. All right, let's do it. Here we go. This video goes over debloating Windows 10 and slimming it down by removing all the junk apps that get installed by Microsoft. And this is all done with one script. Oh. And at the end of this video, you'll see it run through my computer, remove all the nuances and crap that gets installed on Windows 10, such as OneDrive. And also it prevents Windows 10 from taking... It looks like I haven't been outside in like five years. Like even up on the light. My goodness, Chris of five years ago needs to go get some sun or something. Oh, anyways, sorry. <laughs> and putting Microsoft Edge as your default browser. Coming up. <laughs> okay, we're going to start by going ahead. I, I made an article about actually deep loading oh. it. Uh, oh, WordPress we're site. Start by mm, opening up gross. our PowerShell prompt by right clicking. And this is actually a command prompt, but that's okay. We can just type PowerShell. And this will put us in PowerShell for us. From here, we need to set the execution policy. Set execution <laughs> policy, and we want unrestricted. Uh, this is back when Sinex used to do his Windows 10 debloater. This is actually the origin thought. I actually, uh, when I created my toolbox, this was one of the very first debloat scripts I used. And I was like, ooh, I kind of like how this works except I think I can do it better. And that's what I was thinking back here when I was actually running All it right. in With these days. All right, done, we need to go to GitHub and download our script. So we'll just go ahead and click on this link. We want the actual debloater.ps1 script, the actual sysprep. I think this whole project's archived PS1 at this point is too. For systems that don't have a user set up since I've already been using this for a while. Yeah, so this got archived, I think, last year? And something like that. He he's like, I'm done. Download zip. I think he actually ended up moving to Linux. All right. We'll open that up. And I'm going to put this on my desktop. So. Oh, my God. I don't even know how to use GitHub. It's done. We're going to just go back <laughs> to my article here. Chris from five years ago didn't know and how to use GitHub. Let's just download the zip file. This is how GitHub works. We're going to go to our home directory. <laughs> and since I put it on my desktop, Windows 10, debloater. DIR. Oh, and he's an old one. CMD. All right. Windows 10 Debloater PS1. And as we see here, oh man, we want to debloat it. So we're going to click yes. It'll use an old WinForms. Like to remove everything that was pre-installed on this Windows machine. Yes. Yeah. 
And this is going right. to go through and remove all the junk apps. Now, this will leave some things like... Uh, yeah, you can do get on PowerShell. Like just do an IRM or you can do IWR. You can use there's bits. A there's a lot of different ways to, to download mine. directly. Or I just... I believe it also leaves Xbox I think my, functionality. My actual profile However, uses uh, it. many other applications do get uninstalled. So if you have uninstalled... <laughs> Where's the exe? Store, it will go... Through Okay, so a little context here, guys, from five years ago is I was a sysadmin for, I don't know, what was that? Five years would have been 2018. It would have been about 15 or so years as a sysadmin at this point. So PowerShell scripts, VBS scripting, a lot of those things I did on a big scale. And I think I was about a year or two removed from probably the the biggest career position I ever had where I was managing a couple thousand uh, systems and clients. And we had like a colo that I was responsible for with a team there and we did everything. We had uh, a SAN with a whole bunch of hosts with uh, Citrix loaded, everything. So I, I handled everything end to end. I was the go-to guy for anything that was Windows Server related and also Citrix related. Uh, that was just my skill set. Uh, there was a couple things that they, we did there. There was, for some odd reason, we used like Sage for some of the accounting back in for that big business. I think it was the business annual revenue. I think they topped out close to a billion dollars. Uh, because I think that that specific business uh, cleaned up or was a, responsible for most of the cleanup of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. And I did the IT for that company. And it was in not great shape when I, I got there. And I was responsible for a lot of cleanup. So I say all that just to be like, when it comes to PS1 scripts and that type of thing, very familiar with this. I'm not really a Linux guy in this respect, and I don't think I've even loaded up Linux desktop really, except maybe a couple times for like throwaway machines. And that's all I've done at this point in my life. Through and uninstalled. Just to give those. some context. As you see there, it kind of got hung up there. That was an actual Ubuntu um, subsystem that yeah, I Yeah, actually, my first Windows so server was Windows Server 2000. And install that subsystem again if I wanted to use Ubuntu in my Windows box. And if you're interested in that, I actually made a video over it and I'll link that in the description below too. So oh, look I'm at gonna me. go ahead and let this nice finish. circular calling out the old Windows right. WSL one. Now that <laughs> no, no one wants that installed, video. <laughs> we want to prevent Edge from taking over as the default PDF viewer. We want Adobe of course. And oh yeah, I hate, absolutely hate like Sage's software. Here. However, I don't know anybody that actually uses OneDrive. And if you do, you're probably about to lose your data that you have on there <laughs> because it's horrible with versioning. Use Dropbox. <laughs> like an <laughs> I hated OneDrive. So back in the day, uh, I had, this is 2018. So this is really before OneDrive kind of came into its own. But some good pretext to that comment OneDrive used to be SkyDrive and it just replaced to OneDrive because SkyDrive had a big problem. And once they tried to do, I think it was OneNote integration, it screwed up really bad. It ended up deleting a ton of files and it desynced. You'd run into all kinds of issues specifically with uh, <laughs> OneDrive and SkyDrive. Uh, it was really, really bad back in the day. OneDrive's fine now. I mean, if you want to use OneDrive, it's fine, but the whole comment came from, hey, you might lose your data if you use OneDrive. That's actually a serious comment. And yes, that did happen to a lot of human. A lot of users. All right. Now it says it needs to reboot the machine to restart. Oh, we God, don't Microsoft want to do this Silverlight. Because I'm currently recording. So it is finished. And that is it. I am not My a Windows robot. 10 is clean as could be, no junk apps, all the uh, built-in apps that are bloating it down, and actually, you you'll see a performance uptick. I've noticed How much a more good twenty to thirty percent increase in performance just by doing this. So just going into performance and, and coming here, I noticed a big difference just by doing this. If you're if you want to test this, come into your performance, kind of get a good baseline, and then run this script and see what happens. And this is all maintained all through the GitHub script. And this guy that, that maintains it has done a fantastic job for the last...
All right. Yeah, I think we got the gist of that video. Uh, yeah, that was my 15th video about 15 days into doing YouTube. I did a video back when I started uh, one a day. And that was uh, that was me of old.